everyone, it's Vicky here. I just want to apologise for looking a mess because I've not long got in from shopping and it's quite late now and I've been out most of the day trying to sort out all Christmas presents for the family. Um, I'm going to do a video response to the Rooks Hollow. He did bullying, spirit, bullying spiritually and dealing with it. Um, so basically I'm going to talk about my bullying when I experience being bullied and how I dealt with that situation um, when I was in school and I and I was bullied by just one person and um, it became it became quite a horrible thing to experience because um, all my friends actually turned against me so I was left on my own but what I did may have been the wrong way to go around things I um, well, a lot of people did not like this girl anyway that was um, causing me a lot of hassle. Um, I kept getting told, oh, don't put up with this and all that and we don't like her and blah, blah, blah. And one day she snapped, she said something like, um, and all the things I did for you when your dad died. Now this girl came around to my house about two days after my dad died and brought a bunch of flowers and i never seen her since. And that was the first time she'd been around to my house for months and really spoke to me. So I snapped and stood up in front of the class. Shouldn't have done this really. Um, could have done more harm than good. Um, and ended up telling her what I thought and that the whole class didn't like her. Now, now I could have been classed as a bully for doing that. But at that point... I'd actually physically snapped and was at breaking point by that point because of um, I was very low anyway after my dad died so it was the worst thing she could have said in the world because this was only like four months after my dad died that she did this this was about this would be nearly 12 years ago now when I was 13 12 years. Yeah, I'm just forgetting how old I am. I'm 25 now, so it'd be 12 years ago. So, I snapped and I did that in front of the class. But my recommendation is people not to do that if you're feeling bullied. It's the wrong way to do things. Um, I slightly regretted doing it and felt quite upset from doing that and then getting sent to the headmaster's office and getting down sat down and then her mum getting on the phone to me shouting down the phone and screaming at me for saying that I didn't like her and no one liked her it wasn't a good experience um, eventually um, I separated myself from that group and went off on my own for a while and then got myself with a new group which was much better which was that experience and then things got better in college and then the next phase was I went into work in care with elderly people and this was when I was 18, 19 and I experienced it again but this was with the senior care staff that were working above me so this was like you have your manager, your deputy and and then senior health care assistants and I was feeling, I was getting it from the senior health care assistants because I snide comments when I was coming around the corner they were giving me all jobs in the world so like um, everyone else would be sat down and they'd be making me do all sorts of crap um, I found it very, very hard. What happened with that is the way that I dealt with it. I went to my manager. I explained everything to my manager, what was going on. Um, I expected something to be done about this, but my manager did not do a thing. This continued on for a couple of months. Went back to my manager and said more things because it was very hard to ignore what was going on. <clears throat> By the end of it, um, I was signed off by the doctor with stress and I was signed off for three weeks and handed in my notice and left. I never went back. Well, I'm lying because the, the care home I worked in at the time, um, I, I never went back for a whole year. Um, I never went and asked for my job back or anything. But a year later, I actually got informed that this girl, the girls that were the senior care staff at the time had left and the manager had got sacked. So I thought to myself, clean slate, fresh place, and I'll go back in. And <clears throat> I'm glad I did go back in because now I'm the deputy manager there. Work my way back up and things are much better. And I am now the person that they go to if they feel like there's a bullying situation. Which I find quite good because I know 
I will deal with it, make sure that people are happy, no one's treated unfairly, there are no snide comments going around, um, I try and stop it in, stop it as soon as I hear about it, um, but that is my way now, I help people to deal with issues, um, so, to, so, ho, so far in school we have no school, I'm not in school, Sorry everyone, I'm a bit tired and I'm rambling and I start talking about rubbish. Um, so now in work we have no issues of bullying and if we do, um, people come straight to me and I sort it out. And if I can't sort it out, I get the manager and she sorts it out, which is good to know. Um, to the Rocks Hollow, um, I think it's a very hard thing to do to ignore people when they call your names or say things about you. I, I I I couldn't do that. I would find that extremely difficult just to ignore what's going on. Um because I let things play on my mind, I think about it all the time and it keeps going on and on. So I think that's very, very strong of you to be able to ignore what they're saying. And very brave to ignore it too. But I would say in some situations it is best to tell someone because they can deal with it. But that is my opinion and everyone's opinions are different. And your accent is fine. It's better than mine because I get, I get messages saying some people can't understand me or slow down when you're talking. Because I have a strange accent because I'm not quite Liverpool. And it's not quite that northern either like a Lancashire type of accent so I'm kind of a mixture of everything so yeah this was my video response to you and I hope you've enjoyed the video sorry for the rambling if I made no sense I am very sorry because knowing my look that this video has made absolutely no sense like usual when I ramble so I hope you've enjoyed this video and love to see other people's video responses to this um, but like I said I've never had any problem with um, my spirituality, no one's ever mentioned it, I've never had any issues with it and I've been fine with that side of things but like I said in the beginning, watch the video and if you're only up to this point, there I go rambling again. Anyway, so I'm going to go now before I ramble on even more. So, blessed be everybody.